Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I would like to do a whip and chat with you. Whip and chat stands for work in progress and chat. Today's work in progress is the ghost maker uh, by Diamond Shop and you can find it by clicking on the link down in the description box below. Today I'm going to use my pen. This is from Enablers Outpost. This came in the Halloween mystery box that I purchased and I am so happy with it. I, I love everything that came in my box. I was mistaken though when I unboxed this. I saw little bats. There's actually little tiny kitty cats inside. But I thought they were bats. <laughs> So this is the pen that I'm using. I'm also using their, their putty. They call it Chit, C-H-I-T, and that is a word that means putty uh, in another language. I don't remember if it's Romanian or what, but it is a really great product. This one is scented like candy corn, and I have it in both my single placer and my multi placer. I am going to use my Muni Made tray. This one I purchased a long time ago. Uh, I really like their trays and it matches my little macaroon. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And we're just going to chit chat for a little while. I don't know how long I have today because I'm waiting. James is actually in a meeting right now. Um, and I don't know, I don't know how long he'll be gone. So we'll see, we'll see how long I can make this video. But I am super excited to tell you that I'm really close to being finished. Uh, this section that I'm working on right now is the third to last section. So over here is the last section of the painting. And I would zoom out and show you, but I, it took a while to get this set up, I'm going to be honest. I am using a light pad underneath this because I find it easier to see the symbols. This is an older kit from Dye Moon Shop, and so it is a little bit more difficult to see the symbols um, on this one. But if you get a newer Dye Moon Shop, their symbols are beautiful. There are no... There are no actual like keyboard symbols. There's just alphabets and numbers and that's it. To open, I'm using Elizabeth Ward trays or containers. Um, you might have seen these. You can purchase these. Uh, actually, the knockoff of these on AliExpress if you want to just look for bead storage containers. Um, these and Harbor Freight containers are my absolute favorite to use for diamond painting. Uh, neither of which are easy for me to come by here in Ireland where I live. But I have some amazing friends who have helped me to get some over the years. And so I'm super lucky. I'd recommend that you make a friend. <laughs> make a friend and see if you can work out a deal. Or check D-Stash groups for diamond painting uh, if you're looking to get your hands on some storage. That's always a good way to find things when they're not available to you. So what are we going to talk about today? Um, I oh, Let's start with me. So um, as you know, I have been, is that really all the fives that were in this section? Okay. Um, I have been in recovery, I suppose you could call it. I have been working on fixing, uh, improving my mental health over the past few months. And I have been trying different things because, you know, it's, um, it's not a simple fix. And I did go to therapy for a few months and that helped immensely. I highly recommend therapy. Um, if, if, if it's not available publicly, uh, I know that the cost of private therapy is quite expensive, um, but honestly, uh, I was at the point where nothing else was helping. Um, the, the medicine that I was taking wasn't helping, um, even though it was supposed to be regulating me, it just wasn't helping. So. I would definitely recommend having 
therapy if you're in a position like I was, but I'm not a doctor, so I can't really give you any advice other than explaining to you what my experiences were and how I managed with them. But I have found that um, personally, my a lot of the things that I struggled with really, really badly in the past three, four years has cleared up a lot. Um, I had I had issues with what is known as executive dysfunction. It felt like my brain and my body were not communicating. I knew that I needed to do something, but I couldn't motivate myself to do the thing. And that, I believe, was because of my depression. So eventually, I, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, CPTSD, and um, clinical depression. And that's not going to go away overnight. So, and I, I know this because I still struggle. Even though I feel like the past few months have been an upswing, there are days where things are hard and it can be difficult. So when I feel like that, I know that it's time for me to reevaluate things and to kind of approach things from a different viewpoint. And in a way, I've had to become my, my own uh, advocate and make sure that the things, without getting too much into detail, this is not the right symbol, um, without getting into too much detail, because it is quite personal, um, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, it, it's an ever, it's an ever changing kind of debilitating problem. And not everyone's story is the same. So I encourage you to take, to take a step back. And if you have a friend who is suffering and you yourself are not, the best way that you can help someone is just to listen to them and ask them if they, if they need at that moment, if they just need you to listen or if they need your help. Sometimes we don't know what we want either. Uh, sometimes we really just want people to empathize with us and let us know that it's okay and that we're not alone in the way that we feel because it can make you feel like an alien in, especially in, in the world that we live in. Um, you know, we prioritize, we prioritize things like, um, your work, capabilities like the amount of time that you spend at work and um, in my particular case how much you hustle um, I'm not a hustle person <laughs> I did not come into YouTube to hustle and so um, sometimes I feel a lot of pressure on on me because I did choose this to be uh, something that I feed my family with um, I feel a lot of pressure to, you know, make new and exciting content. But the reality is, and I and I did ex I did talk about this and listen to others speak about this during uh, Shay's live. I don't know if you were there on Sunday night, crafting with Shay. I'll link her uh, channel in my description so that you can go and and follow and check her out. She's been doing these interviews with new creators and old um, and asking really important questions. And one of the things that came up was about, you know, how much time we spend on these things and when does it go from being a hobby to being a job and that sort of thing. And, oh, my gosh, the conversations that were coming out of there on Sunday night was just incredible. So thank you, Shay, for hosting that Um I really, I really feel like, and this is just coming from, from me, and I feel really awkward talking about this. Um, it's, it's about making 
videos that you would want to watch yourself. That's, that's how I look at what I do. I want to make videos that I would want to watch. Um, if, if I were the person looking in, what would I want to see? What are the things that I enjoy doing? What are the things that I enjoy baking? Making, not baking. <laughs> um, and for, for, for me, that's, that is what I do. And I've had a lot of fun over on Twitch. You can check me out. I'll be live on Twitch tomorrow. Uh, my handle on there is Rachel Ray Craft, just like it is here. I'll be live at 11 a.m. GMT plus one, which is UK time. Um, Ireland and the UK have the same time zone. So if you're able to make it, it would be great to, to see you and say hello. Um, I've been enjoying making those videos because I feel like creating a space for people to talk to each other about all kinds of things, not just crafts is something that I've wanted for a really long time. And uh, truthfully, it was just really difficult for me to do that on YouTube. No offense to anyone who only watches YouTube. I know there's a lot of you out there and I do get comments whenever, whenever I talk about Twitch from people who say that they don't want another website to follow or maybe they don't feel comfortable moving over there. I, I completely 100% understand. Um, but I'm not alienating you, I promise. Uh, it's just that uh, some people enjoy the lives. Some people have more time for the live streams than they do for my regular videos and content. So whatever works for you that makes you happy to enjoy, then that's what you should do. You know, um, by no means am I trying to force you to, to move to another platform. It would be nice if you could come and visit, but if you don't, if you really don't want to, I, I wouldn't want to force you. But uh, one of the best things that I have been doing uh, lately, in my opinion, that I really, really love is doing these marathons. Every year I do the marathon for MMIW G2S, which is the Marathon for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, Girls, and Two Spirits. And we've raised quite a bit of money this year, and I'm really super happy about that. I did a few D-stashes, and the the generosity of all of you is just, I, I can't even tell you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, we're doing some really good things in the world, and that's all I really wanted to do with my channel was to educate people and to do good things, because there's enough bad stuff going on in the world. Um, at least in this part of the internet, we can have really nice things and we can enjoy them together, but we can also help to make people's lives better. And that's what makes my heart really happy. So thank you for helping me with that. It's improved my mood a lot <laughs> and, um, it's, uh, it's made me enjoy my crafting a lot more, knowing that I have a reason for doing it. Um, not just because I need to make content for YouTube, but because I'm helping people along the way. It really, it really helps to motivate me. So thank you so much. I'll definitely have to incorporate more of these types of marathons into my crafting time and uh, bring my energy towards those spaces because it's where I feel the most needed uh, and the most, I don't know, um, like I can give more of myself to those things. So yeah, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Something new that's going to be happening soon is that, and I'd like you, well, I don't have a date for you yet, but I'd love, I'd love you to think about joining me and my friend Wolfpack. If you haven't seen Wolfpack Diamond Painting here on YouTube, you should definitely go check her out. Her name is Stephanie, and we've been friends since I started my channel way, way back in September. Well, I started the channel a lot earlier than that, but I started my diamond painting videos in September of 2018. And we, back then, we were just doing unboxing videos and whipping chats. Honestly, that's, that's all there was um, with the occasional tutorial 
but those didn't really even come until later. We started going live and meeting other live, you know, other diamond painters live. And that's how I met most of my really good friends who are creators as well. So Steph and I have been fat friends since then. And we did a thing in 2020. We did a, an event called Winter with Diamond Art Club or Winter with DAC. Hashtag Winter with DAC. And we are going to do it again. So this is kind of my soft opening announcement for Winter with DAC. Um, there, there may be, if there's still a Facebook group, there will be a Facebook group. But we are not going to be requiring that you join any platform. Uh, just watching our videos. We're going to have giveaways in the videos, uh, giveaways that were sponsored by Diamond Art Club. So thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, if you're watching this. Um, and we are not going to require that you finish a project, but we will require two things. One is that it'll have to be a new start. That way everybody is, you know, starting fresh with us. And the other requirement is that it has to be a Diamond Art Club painting. So get those paintings ready and don't start them yet. You can kit them up, but please don't start them if you intend to do the event with us. Um, we will give you a date as soon as we can. But we are planning to do a couple of live streams together. We are going to do some, some giveaways and uh, like in our whip and chats and well, for me, it might be a whip and chat for her. It might be a live stream. Uh, we, we live on like <laughs> very opposite time schedules. So usually when she goes live, I'm in bed, uh, but we're going to work it out because I, I like collabing with her. She is a really good friend of mine and she has been trying to get over here to Ireland for a few years now and having to postpone those plans because of, you know, the panini. So yeah, it would just be really, really nice to do something with her and, um, and I miss her and I would love you to join us too, but it's totally low pressure. There's, there's no pressure involved whatsoever. If you feel like you're not in the headspace to do it, or you don't want to start a new project, that's okay. That's all right. You can watch us. Um, just enjoy the videos that we make and the live streams that we have, but there's no pressure. Um, I don't even think that there's going to be like a, there might be a form for you to fill in just saying that you're participating, but there's going to be no pressure on you to finish that project. Lord knows I have enough whips. How many whips do I have? I have a one, two, three. Wait, one, two. No, I think I'm down to three. Huh. Really? I think I'm down to three whips. How about that? <laughs> so I'm doing good. I'm getting better. <laughs> but yeah, um, it'll be it'll be really fun. And I hope that you join us. Um, I have a lot of really fun things planned for for the next few months. I have a beautiful piece. I'm going to have to use my pen. I have a beautiful piece uh, diamond painting that I'm planning to start once this one is finished. Uh, this one, as you know, is my drills and chills piece. Uh, I have another piece that I, that could qualify for drills and chills, but, um, I'm not going to try to finish that one by the end of October. It's just, it's too big. Um, I am going to be, where is V? I am going to be working on roses and pomegranates. I purchased that from a store uh, that the last name that they had was Blushing Blackbird. And um, if the owner of that store is still watching me, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having a small shop that we could buy diamond paintings from, even if it didn't, you know, even though you're not in business now, I still really love the painting and I can't wait to do it. As you know, uh, I do many crafts. <laughs> I do a lot of crafts. Um, and so I don't get a lot of time to do diamond painting. 
and uh, some some months, some weeks, I feel really into it, and then others, I step away from it. It's just like, I can't, it's not my only love anymore. It used to be the only craft I did, um, but then I got sucked into cross-stitching, and then, and then knitting, and then my love of crochet came back, you know, so... <laughs> That's just the kind of person that I am, though. I often, often flick from one thing to another, one interest, one hobby to another. I get all the things for it. I read all about it, you know, and, and get really super excited and into it. And then it just, my eyes wander and I go to a new thing. And I've, I've always been that way. And... I'm just rolling with it now. If it doesn't go bad, then I'm not gonna stress about it, you know? If it doesn't expire, if it doesn't rot, then it's fine. Um, in fact, one of the reasons that I started cross-stitching is because it's basically diamond painting, but with materials that aren't plastic. Um, because I have a lot of guilt over the environmental effects of diamond painting, but one of the things that keeps me coming back to diamond painting is that I am not by any means an elitist when it comes to uh, plastic. So what I mean by that is um, there are people out there saying that we shouldn't have straws, like we shouldn't have plastic straws. And I agree to a certain point. Um, I don't think that your average person, me included, has a need for plastic straws. We could easily use paper straws. You know who needs plastic straws though? People who are in hospital, um, some people who, who are differently abled than us and they need that. And metal straws, bamboo straws, those are not gonna cut it. Um, plastic for them, is much more sanitary and again there's there is a place there is a time and a place but do I need a new plastic straw with every cocktail that I'm gonna buy on my holiday nope I don't need that in fact if I am offered a plastic straw I usually refuse I only if I if they're offered I use paper straws and even then I'm starting to realize that the environmental effect of doing that is probably bad. So I'm just gonna suck it up because I don't have a problem. I don't have a um, disability that, that keeps me from, use, from, from being able to drink without a straw, right? And I feel the same way about diamond painting. Diamond painting is much more accessible to people who have Let's just, let's just pick one of the things. I'm sure there's many reasons why people would choose diamond painting over cross stitch. One is faster. But besides that, a, a big reason would be because you're not able to use needles because they're too small uh, and it either hurts your hands or your eyesight just can't see the fabric anymore. You could see this, you can't see that, you should be able to do this. Why not? And again, a lot of people, I can hear the, <laughs> I feel like I can hear the cognitive dis dissonance in my head. Um, there are people that would say, well, if you can't see it, then, you know, you can't enjoy anything. And I think that's wrong. I think that people are people and people should be able to enjoy their life. We should just be really conscious of it. That's all. So before you come after somebody, um, just think about the reasons why they might need it. Um, also, diamond painting has been amazing for my mental well-being and my mental health. I find that I can diamond paint for an hour and my mood is lifted. Um, whatever was worrying me, has left my brain. Either I've been able to work through it by diamond painting and like, you know, talking to myself in my head. That happens sometimes. Or 
uh, on the other hand, it could be that I need to turn off my brain. So I listen to music. That's a really good one. I really love listening to, to like movie soundtracks or video game soundtracks is a good one. And just enjoying that peace and that calm that I have just me and the diamond painting seeing it come to life, especially with mystery kits, for example, um, having my coffee in the morning. I love diamond painting in the morning. Um, so is he home? Luna, Luna just moved. So maybe is he back? No, you've just decided to come in. Okay. Go lay down, please. Um, just me, my coffee, some music. Sometimes I'll watch, you know, a U YouTube videos of my friends. Uh, sometimes I just need music and calm and peace and quiet. Open a window and just enjoy. Enjoy that little bit of time that I have to myself before I need to do stuff. It helps motivate me to do the things that I don't want to do by allocating some time for me first um, because there's a lot that I have to do in this with all of this uh, that I don't really want to talk about because it's really boring it's it's also really stressful so um, this is a great way <laughs> to offset that stress by saying okay I'm going to do this for an hour and then and I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to enjoy every second and just lap it up and then I'm going to do the thing that I find really difficult to do. And if I'm still stressed out after I've done the thing that needed to be done, then I can come back to my diamond painting and I can keep doing it. I find that uh, diamond painting is way more relaxing than cross stitch, uh, sometimes more relaxing than knitting, depending on the pattern because they can be very involved. And you know me and I love involved things. <laughs> So a lot of my projects just have a lot of, um, they just take a lot of my brain space and diamond painting doesn't. Diamond painting allows me to just relax because the grid is there, you know, it's just like paint by number in that way. The grid is there. Um, as long as you remember what symbol you're working on while you're diamond painting, which I know can be hard if you're being distracted a lot. I have friends who say that they, they get distracted really, really easily by children or by pets or what whatever it might be, um, and that they have trouble. And in that case, I would just say, do what I do and pop your container with the lid open or even closed on your diamond painting while you're working on that symbol and do not work with multiple trays. Never, never work with multiple trays if you're easily distracted. Um, or being distracted by something that is beyond your control. But yeah, uh, diamond painting has been like an outlet for me for a lot of, for a very long time, uh, even before that I knew that I needed one. And so I absolutely recommend that you do it too. Um, if you've put it down for a while uh, and you're looking to get motivated to start back up again, one of the things that I've done to, to get that, you know, that mojo, that motivation, the bug to bite again is to go through my stash. Um, I have a stash. I don't talk about it on my YouTube channel anymore because I felt like there were a lot of people judging me for it. Um, I only have my stash because I started making videos and uh, I wouldn't have the stash that I have today without being a YouTuber. So I like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be spending money on, on this stuff if I wasn't a YouTuber. Um, my first kits were these teeny tiny kits from China and they only cost five euros a piece. And even then I felt guilty buying them. I was, I was really broke back then too. And I, there were no like really nice shops to buy diamond paintings from. They smelled like oil and 
Uh, the drills were not very shiny, but I enjoyed every second of it, and I kind of got hooked. So, yeah. It's all about what's what's in your means to, to get as well, right? Um, but if you if you are having one of those things where you just you've just lost the mojo, um, I, I do recommend watching either watching older videos like not not necessarily unboxing videos because you don't want to enable yourself to buy more things, but um, you know older whipping chats or like finish year in review videos. I think that's what most people in the DP community call um, their their wrap ups. They'll do a, a year in review, which I should probably start planning one as well uh, because I did I did actually diamond paint and I did actually finish a few diamond paintings this year. I didn't last year. I don't think I finished a single diamond painting last year. No. I really, I really don't. So I'll be excited to share with you all the projects that I finished this year. And it'll give you a good idea, not only like, you know, uh, what a person, a particular YouTuber style is, but it'll give you some motivation to go, ooh, that's really pretty. I would like to see this one that I have started finished. Or maybe just starting a new project will help you. But I know that in my case, sometimes starting new things can make me feel overwhelmed. And I have to balance how many diamond paintings that I have on the go at once. Three is a good number. <laughs> Three is a really good number for me. But your number might be 17. I don't know. Uh, but... Regardless of what your number of whips looks like, as long as you're happy, that's the main thing. You know, that's the goal. Uh, this is, it's a hobby and these little things, they're not going to go bad. So don't stress out. That's, that's mainly what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm talking to my friends right now who you're watching this and you're feeling overwhelmed by your stash or your whip pile and you're going, Rachel, what am I going to do? Well, don't sell it all. Like, unless you really need to, um, just think of it as an investment into your future. You have a retirement plan. <laughs> I call it my, my apocalypse plan, um, which is really funny. Um, I, I think that if you are one of those people that have gone back and you've watched my videos from the beginning, which I'm almost at a thousand videos now. Um, if you've gone back and watched all of my videos from the beginning, in the middle of, I think it was in July of 2019, we were doing a diamond painting YouTube marathon. Uh, this was before I found out about Twitch. Uh, we, I, I participated in these kind of raid trains we didn't know what to call them because we were just on youtube but basically what we refer to on twitch as a raid train we would organize it so that everybody had like an hour or an hour and a half and during my show i made the comment that i was saving up my diamond paintings for the apocalypse and then covid happened <laughs> so there was that, <laughs> um, though by that time I had transitioned into mostly cross stitching. So, uh, but the the sentiment still exists. I plan on keeping a lot of my diamond paintings. I do I do destash uh, quite a bit of them for charity, but um, and sometimes for myself if I've purchased them and I want to uh, make more room or you know, uh, cycle them out. I will, I will destash them for myself, but, um, I am saving those for the future because I had this thought the other day and I know that this is, it makes me sad to think about it and I don't want to worry anybody, but, um, uh, I, I'm probably not going to be on YouTube forever. 
and I really enjoy what I'm doing, but I, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this for a long time. How long does this last? How long can I, you know? And I do ask myself that every once in a while, and I try not to get too um, emotional about it because I really like what I do. I really enjoy making these videos for you and for myself. And But sometimes I just have to think, what am I going to do someday? And um, that's not today. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not today. But, um, you know, I'm going to stop getting sneak peeks and I'm going to uh, stop buying things as much. Maybe I will have different priorities and what will I do then, right? So I do have I do have quite a few of them that I'm planning on doing, you know, when that time comes. But I because I will still enjoy the hobby no matter what happens to me. And um I just wanted to I guess this this whip and chat has kind of gone in a direction that I didn't intend it to, but thank you. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Um, thank you to those of you who have been here since the beginning. Um, there are a lot of you, and I appreciate every one of you, no matter how long you've been here. But you, the you who have been here for a while have seen my ups and downs, and, um, and I feel like we know each other pretty well, even though I have never met any of you in real life, aside from Heike, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Um, I've never met anyone in real life. And I really want to. One day, one day there will be a retreat. One day we will get together um, and I will be able to meet you. I will meet some of you at Stitch North in Toronto next May. Um, and I'm so excited to do that. But thank you so much. You've you've made this a real a really nice place to be. So I appreciate that. And as I'm approaching somehow approaching 50,000 subscribers, um I just wanted to remind you that you are the reason that this channel has gotten so far and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um you help you help me you help me be a pet better person and that's that's something that i will not take for granted so without getting too sappy though i wanted to give you a heads up 37 minutes can you see i'm sorry if you can't see very well there's there's a lot of lighting happening but it it might not be working very well um there are some things that are going to be happening on the channel. Uh, you've probably already noticed Vlogoween, which is me opening up some um, some skeins of yarn. You may or may not be interested in that, but it's basically I'm doing daily uploads for my patrons, but of all levels uh, where they can see those videos daily, but then I'm making a weekly video to post here on YouTube so that everybody can enjoy um, without having to, you know, subscribe to another subscription and another Patreon and all that stuff. Um, I'm also getting ready. We, James and I are going to have a very, very special Theory Tuesday coming up, uh, where we're planning on going away for a day and doing a special outdoor filming session. Um, I have no idea. I have to really think about how we're going to do this, but uh, it could just be us walking around and talking like vlog style, but it will be, it'll be our Halloween video. Um, and that will come out on Halloween, which I believe is a Monday this year. Am I wrong? It's a Monday, so it won't be on Tuesday. It'll be on a Monday and... I'm just glad that he agreed to do it. 
uh, and I really hope that you will enjoy it because we enjoy making these videos and I want to start traveling more for them. So let me know in a comment if vlog style is okay or if you would prefer us to take um, to take footage of the area and then splice it into a diamond painting video like we normally do, like we normally sit down and do. I would like to know. So please, 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 if you have input, please give us that input um, on this video. I really appreciate your your input on this. I'm just trying to think of a new word for input, but my brain is like, what? I'm going to take a sip of water. <laughs> Maybe it'll come to me. Water is good. Also, in November, um, James and I are going on holidays. Some of you know, um, but we are going away and I'll tell you all about it when we get back, just for privacy's sake. But I, I'm super duper excited. And while I'm away, there will be videos. So there will be videos going up that are in the style that I did a long time ago. I did reading videos. And this time I'm going to be reading a book that was sent to me by a subscriber a long, long time ago. It's a Grimm's Fairy Tales book. And I believe, let me check, here's our book. This was Eclectically Grim. This is an illustrated copy of uh, a couple of Grimm's fairy tales that was arranged as the Reading Room Club um, in the UK uh, back in 2016. Now, I'm not going to be sharing the, the images from this because... I was not given permission, expressed permission from the publisher, but the Brothers Grimm is actually in the public domain, so I can read a couple of fairy tales to you, and I'm looking forward to doing that. So I have been filming myself diamond painting, and I will be uploading those videos and have, having them ready and releasing during the days that I am on vacation. And I hope that you enjoy. I'm pretty sure it'll be one story per episode. So some of them will be longer than others. But I know that a few of you said that you really like my voice and you find it soothing. And I, I'm glad that you do. If you're feeling a little impatient and you would like to watch some of the other videos I've made in the past, I'll make sure to link them in the eye. I have a few playlists now. I have Irish stories, and then I have some Christmas stories as well, but it's not really the season for that, is it? But I'll be making um, a Brothers Grimm playlist, and you can listen to it whenever you like. And I will try my best to make my cadence and my voice as soothing as possible so that those of you who listen to go to sleep can fall asleep and it won't be too dramatic or over the top. No loud sound effects or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoy. And if you haven't seen those videos already, then hopefully you enjoy them too. Uh, but it is something that I've I've really gotten myself psyched up for and yeah I, I've been filming myself diamond painting so that I can on this painting so that I can bring those videos to you while I'm away because I don't want you to uh to lose company while I am gone um so I will do my best uh other than that I think that's it. I mean, Luna is doing really well. Um, she's been a little bit needy the last few days, but you know, when is she not? Um, she's my adorable little sidekick, my colleague. And, um, we've been, we've been trying to weather a few storms. We had the tail end of Ian come up and whip up around us this weekend. That was kind of scary not gonna lie um it was very windy uh too windy 
too windy. Luckily, we strapped down our chicken coop again just in time. And we didn't have any, you know, problems with the chickens. Yes, we have chickens. <laughs> um, they're, they're because of me. <laughs> I, um... I've always wanted chickens and they're very, their hens are very, very easy to take care of. And, um, especially when you have a husband that cleans up their poo, <laughs> um, and very worth it. Uh, we've had them for two years now and they are, they're wonderful little creatures. Uh, and yeah, so storms came through. I've been trying to evenly space out my my craftiness my projects and I've been trying to slam all of my work my work my video making and editing and uploading and all of that at the beginning of the week which seems to be working out really well for me because it means that the rest of the week I have plenty of time to be shipping things and mailing things and I am thinking about opening my Etsy store again or not my Etsy store, but what used to be my Etsy store would now be my website, which is rachelraycraft.com. Uh, and I have needle minders still that need homes. So if you are interested, those will be going up in the next few weeks as well. But I'm probably going to wait until after we come back from our vacation to have those, to have that, all of that work um, ahead of me you know what I mean so I will be busy 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 for the next few weeks making content so that while we are away and when we first come back that I don't have to jump back into working again but um, I really do enjoy it and I'm going to have to catch up with you I'm going to try to keep a journal so that um, a journal and pictures so that I could share them in the next you know, with and chat after we come back from our holidays in the middle of November. But I am super excited because we, and I will talk about it just for a minute because I have to. I, I really, really wanted to, to do something with my husband. Um, it's been, it's been a really long time since we've been able to travel. Um, I'm pretty sure that the last time the last time that we did a big trip was to Toronto, which I don't really consider, it, it was a vacation, but because it was Canada, Canada is like a second home to me. I have family in Canada and we used to go there every year. So, you know, it's, it's a fun, you know, getaway, but it doesn't feel like a true vacation. Uh, vacations for us are typically <laughs> going to a country we've never been before and uh, experiencing all new things, which is what we're going to do. Um, I know the language, but I've never been to the country before. So yeah, it'll be great, great fun. I'll make sure to take lots of pictures and share them with you. But are you going to be doing anything special, different, uh, this winter or this autumn or this spring, depending on what part of the world you are in, it, are any of you going to the diamond painting retreat? I heard there was a retreat happening. I don't know where, but a couple of my creative friends are going on a retreat together, diamond painting retreat. Um, I would love to know more about these. So if you are planning a retreat next year and you have tickets available or something like that, please contact me. Um, my email is on my channel. Uh, cause I, I would love to make a trip out of it if I could. Uh, and at least if it's, if it doesn't happen next year, then definitely for 2024. Um, I just, I, I want to meet everybody, you know, and I want to, I want to do all the things. So, uh, keep me informed. <laughs> I feel so out of the loop, but that's really it for me today. Um, I do want to remind you that I have new Facebook and YouTube handles. So if you were following my old YouTube name, so I used to be Rachel Raycraft everywhere 
and then my Facebook and Instagram got taken over and, you know, deleted. So, um, that's a long story. I'm not going to get into it on Facebook. I am Rachel Ray F B Rachel Ray F B for Facebook. And then on Instagram, I am Rachel Ray official because Rachel Ray IG seemed to be a little weird. <laughs> I mean, it's weird on Facebook, but I, I honestly have a, I want to say that I have a more immediate presence, meaning I answer messages quicker on Instagram than I do on Facebook only because I really do not, I, well, both of the platforms are iffy, but I can't, <laughs> I just, I find Facebook very difficult. So I have, all of my profiles have been, you know, I, I have to build them back up again. I have to find all the groups that I was in again, and it's taking me a lot longer because I have been disenfranchised <laughs> by Facebook and, um, and so I don't, I just don't use social media as much anymore, but I do post things like reminders of when videos go up, but you probably don't need it for that because if you've rung the bell on my channel, then it means that you'll get the notification when my video goes out. I highly recommend it. It doesn't always work, but if I do go live on YouTube, it will notify you of that. Uh, 30 minutes beforehand if it's scheduled so there's that we're gonna we're gonna finish this we're gonna finish the section there's an O there's three four symbols left so we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna say goodbye um, <clears throat> but all that just to say uh, please please if you are on those platforms and you are feeling a little bit generous or moved or motivated uh, please follow me on the things because it will help me <laughs> immensely I really appreciate it um, it's free <laughs> please I'm begging um, no but like honestly I feel like I'm not reaching you anymore you know it's uh, it's harder for me to to say hello and there's a lot of you that I used to follow that I can't, I can't remember all of your names and that really hurts me because I had wonderful messages from a lot of you and, um, a lot of back and forth with a lot of you. And now I don't because all of that was deleted. So please find me and uh, friend me again. I am not ignoring you. I promise it was, it was the big bad. So there we go. We finished the section. And as you can see, she actually has crystal drills on her. I've replaced all of the white with the electric diamonds that Diamond Shop provides. And they are stunning. So pretty. I can't believe that we finished this section today. Can I move my light maybe and that'll help? Can you see just, if you look here... So pretty. So I really, really enjoy working on this painting. It has been so much fun to work on a round drill, uh, but I will be starting a new painting and you'll probably see it next week <laughs> for the whip and chat. So um, look out for that. Um, again, sorry for being sappy, but thank you so much for being there and for watching and commenting and let me know that you're there. I appreciate you even if you're just a lurker who doesn't have the time to make a comment or maybe you're just too busy, you've got your hands full or you're watching me on the TV. Thank you for being in my life and for caring. I feel it and I thank you again. So until next time, I hope that you all stay safe and take care of each other and I will see you shortly on my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.